President Obama is getting a key endorsement from Governor Schwarzenegger and five other key Republicans to help pass the health care reform. Other Republican supporters include former Wisconsin government Tommy Thompson, New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, and Bill Frist, the former GOP Senate Majority Leader. That support comes at a time when none of the Republicans in Congress are backing Democratic proposals to overhaul health care. Any proposal would need approval from all 60 state Democrats to pass, which seems unlikely at this point, which is why President Obama continues to push, push health care reform to the public in if his weekly America, address. The Republican Rising health care costs are undermining our businesses, exploding our deficits, and costing our nation more jobs with each passing month. So we know that reforming our health insurance system will be a critical step in rebuilding our economy so that our entrepreneurs can pursue the American dream again and our small businesses can grow and expand and create new jobs again. Healthcare reform will impact everyone, but for those about to lose their, their student insurance and don't have jobs yet, it's a crisis. Access to medical insurance is a serious problem for graduating students everywhere. Reporter Vanessa Rodriguez is standing by in the newsroom to tell us what students are doing to prepare themselves for health care after the big day. That's right. Graduating students here at San Francisco State University have plenty to worry about in this economy. But besides the job hunt, there's one more serious thing to think about, and that's health insurance. Health care reform is a main topic of conversation nationally. It is an even bigger problem to the age groups of 18 through 24. These are the people who either don't have a job with benefits coming out of college or they are too old to be on their parents' insurance. Most group health policies cover dependents up to age 23, 24, or 25 as long as they are in school full-time. Once they graduate or go part-time, they will be removed from their parents' policy, leaving many without insurance. I have no health insurance. <laughs> I hope to buy my own health insurance if I have a job. But if I don't have a job, I'm not sure how that's going to be possible. But still, America's youth tend to think they are too healthy to bother with health insurance. Praying that there will be a free option available. There are many reasons to have health insurance, even if you think you are young and healthy and won't get sick. Accidents and emergencies happen, and the financial debt could put you or your family members in financial jeopardy. San Francisco State's health educator, Albert Angelo, says more often than not, kids are graduating with no thoughts about health insurance. Um. Sadly, it's common where students will turn 23 and they have to leave their parents' health insurance. One third of students on campus do not have, don't have health insurance. Uh, two thirds of students do, but one out of every three students is on campus, sadly, without any kind of health coverage. There are options, though. So students who live in San Francisco can look at healthy San, uh, the Healthy San Francisco plan. People in Alameda can go to uh, you know, different options in their county. So there are definitely options out there, but sadly, um, some students really have a difficult time getting health insurance. It's absolutely necessary to have health insurance, even if you don't have a job coming out of school. The cheapest insurance is $100 a month and can help young adults who are out of school and can no longer be on their parents' insurance. For State of Events, I'm Vanessa Rodriguez.